Norman Finkelstein is a highly acclaimed and controversial political scientist, activist, and author. His primary works have focused on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the politics of the Holocaust. We spoke with him at his apartment, where he shared his thoughts on Gandhi and the Occupy movement. For Gandhi, the challenge was not to bring enlightenment about injustice in the world. People already know the injustices. The problem is getting them to act on what they already know is wrong. And the purpose of politics, in particular nonviolent civil disobedience for Gandhi, was that it was supposed to act as a stimulant uh, to goad people, goad the uh, indignant but still passive bystanders, to goad them into action to get them to do something about what they already know is wrong. And in that respect, the Occupy movement was, in my ways, almost the quintessence of what Gandhi had in mind. First of all, the slogan that captioned, the captured the imagination of masses of people, uh, we are the 99%. Uh, well, you didn't have to enlighten people about the injustices of the capitalist system, even though they didn't call it the capitalist system, but you didn't have to enlighten them about the injustices of the system. Uh, there was a, a, a very widespread, a pervasive opinion, especially in the last 10 years, that there's something profoundly wrong with this system, that there's a handful of people who are raking in lots and lots of money, and then there are masses of people who are um, uh, not only not doing well, but doing worse than ever before. Pivotal moment for the civil rights movement, especially for young black people around the country, was the scenes for, say, in, say, the uh, Woolworths stores where people are sitting at the lunch counters and are getting beaten by the white racists. And a lot of pe young black people saw those scenes and they said, you know, I've been saying the same thing as these people. Now it's time to go beyond talk the talk and walk the walk. I belong there with them. And I'm living in Brooklyn, New York, and I hear about the Occupy Wall Street and these young folks are sitting in this place called Zucchini Park or something. I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. Uh, uh, so I'm thinking to myself, well, that's terrific, but you know, I'm heading towards 60. It, uh, Woods, my Woodstock days are behind me. I'm not going to go camping out anywhere at this point in my life. It's unseemly for me at my age, and it'll be embarrassing for the young people uh, on their side. Uh, but then I hear this thing about this mass arrest of 800 people at the Brooklyn Bridge. And I'm thinking to myself, now wait a minute, Norm. This is the Brooklyn Bridge, 800 people are getting arrested and you're doing nothing? No, it's time to walk the walk, enough talk the talk. That's our show for today. Thanks so much for watching. But don't wait till next week. If you're one of the 99%, we want to hear from you. Get involved by contacting the email address or the phone number on your screen. Tell us what you think of the show, what you'd like us to do different, how you'd like to help out. We want to hear from you. This occupation needs your participation. Get in touch.